I'm Brian Kerr, I work for Ivar Jakobsen International. They're a global services company that provide consulting, coaching, training solutions really to customers that are trying to adopt enterprise scale agile software development. So today is about concentrating on leadership and why that's important in any enterprise scale adoption of, of agile. There's two really key roles when you scale at agile. One's the product manager or product management as a whole. The second role that's really important that we concentrated on today was the release train engineer, or RTE for short. So product managers and uh, release train engineers are critical roles because the product manager is making all the decisions about what to do next, making sure that the teams all working together deliver value to the customers, investors, stakeholders and users. In essence, a product manager uh, holds the line when it comes to the product itself. Therefore, they're basically challenging the business on the value. So when the business say that they want a particular capability within the platform or the product, it's my role to make sure that they're getting the, their money's worth. But it's also making sure that the value that will get returned for the organisation is the right value for the, for the product we're delivering. The release train engineer comes in because they're responsible for making sure things flow. So that when the product manager has identified what features are to be done, the research engineer makes sure the teams are equipped and working in the right way to deliver them quickly and in flow. So they don't all get batched up into, into big releases. So without those two roles in place, then you won't move from a kind of traditional waterfall project to the kind of agile, continuous delivery that people are looking for. And agile transformation is all about changing mindset. And we are on that journey. But where I can see it now most is thinking about value creation. That it's not only me, the product managers, who think about value. You know, everybody in the organization, she, she thinks all the time what would create most value now for our clients. One of the biggest challenges as RTEs rolling out uh, the Scaled Agile framework has definitely been to truly understand the the role of the release train engineer. So understanding what value this brings to a, an art, an agile release train. And of course, people sitting in this role comes from different backgrounds. The trains are different, but now it's time to actually to, to focus in on what is the, the key value of, of this role in Simcoe. I think in, in many ways, uh, implementing SAFE actually fitted our organization quite well uh, with the three levels, with empowered teams and then consolidation across arts and on portfolio levels. So I think that actually worked well, uh, quite well. So uh, one of the biggest challenges for introducing, rolling out the framework was the uh, logistics and ensuring that everybody received the appropriate training before we launched into our first PI plan. The biggest hurdle to success was getting our business sponsors to be not just sponsors of budget, but actually participate actively in the planning and prioritization of the work that we need to do. And in the prioritization sessions we run weekly, they now are active participants and actually participate not just in terms of laying out what the vision is, but on a weekly basis drive what work we do, what the teams are executing against and defining what the business value looks like. So what changes we've seen is the buy-in and the conversations that are happening with our teams um, as well as our stakeholders and, and the business. Product managers, uh, our uh, most important uh, task is to decide what to do, so decide that we build the right things. So in order to do that, we have to focus on value, to simply select the features, the epics that creates most value across all our clients and also most value to our company. So I think in the whole agile uh, transformation, when you look at where do you get the efficiency gains, where do you get more productivity, I, see, I think this is one of the big areas to focus on doing the right things. Just the importance of leadership. Too many um, people promoting agile say we've got to take all the managers out and behead them. Right? We don't need any managers anymore. And the reality is people do, they need good managers and good leaders just to um, share experiences. People are doing this, it is working in some very difficult and trying environments and at very large scale, 
So share those knowledge, be, be practical about it. But SAFE gives you a great starting point, particularly to reset a large traditional organisation on the road to becoming more agile.